welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Diana and I'm here with a makeup tutorial on this look. Um, I'm super excited to share it with you guys. It is my green and gold smoky eye look. It's just been my go-to look these past couple of weekends. I have been obsessed with anything gold, so I've been mixing in other colors and I came up with this and I just fell in love. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I came up with this look, just keep on watching. So going in with our Anastasia Beverly Hills brows in the color Caramel, I'm just lightly shading in my eyebrows to really give a more defined look. Using the spoolie, I'm going to blend it out so it's a little bit more natural looking and then apply some brow gel to keep them in place. Priming the eyelid with Soft Ochre from MAC, I'm going to start with Makeup Geek Cosmetics Creme Brulee and just using my E40 blending brush going in windshield wiper motions and putting that in the crease. Then I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Cosmetics color Cocoa Bear and placing that in my crease as well. This is gonna be a really good transition shade and it's gonna give a lot of um, contrast to the green but also complement the gold. Using the E55 shading brush, I'm going to be going in with Glamorous from Makeup Geek. This is a beautiful gold color. It's great for the holidays. You can wear it alone or with a dramatic look. It's just, it's beautiful. Then I'm going to be just blending that in with this random Sephora brush. Um, this look is all about no harsh lines. You want to blend after every step. It's so important. Then this is the color Envy from Makeup Geek. And we're going in with the E25 blending brush from Sigma. Going into that outer V of my eye and just really giving a dramatic look. This brush is amazing because it blends flawlessly. You want to just really make sure that you're blending to give that smoky look that we want to achieve with this look. And blend, blend, blend. Then this is NV by Makeup Geek, Makeup Geek Cosmetics. We're going to be placing that more towards the middle, towards the back of our eye in a V shape as well. This is really going to give that ombre effect. It's a very beautiful color. It's gorgeous. It's very pigmented as well. And then we're going to be blending again. This brush by Sigma is amazing. It's my must-have. It's the E40, and it just really gives such an airbrush look. And then going in with Deep Purple from the Lorac Pro Palette, using the E30, I believe, from Sigma. It's a pencil brush, and it's really just going to give a lot of depth and dimension to that green. And then we're just going to blend that out again, so it's really smoky, really crisp, no harsh lines. And then we're going to go back in with that Poison Ivy green, and just add it for that ombre effect, like we said. A lot of it kind of blended in before, but we want to just pat it on lightly to kind of give that intense color again. And then we're going to blend, blend, blend. <laughs> and then going in with this gold from the Laura Pro Palette, we're going to place that on top of the middle of our eyelid. This is extremely pigmented, more kind of on the foiled side a little bit. It's a beautiful gold. And then we're going to, you guess right, blend again. <laughs> Then we're going in with a light bronze color. This has a little bit of shimmer, sparkle in it, so we're going to place it in the inner tear duct for that highlight. And then we're going to blend again and then go in with the white from the Laura Pro Palette as a brow bone highlight. It's a matte finish, so it's going to complement it really well. And then I just added a little bit more Cocoa Bear into that crease to kind of just make everything pop. And then I'm cleaning it up with some concealer. Uh, just want to really give sharp lines to really give that dramatic effect so everything looks very crisp. And then I'm using the Stila Stay All Day eyeliner. This is in their black shade. I love this. This is one of my must-have products. It makes liquid eyeliner so easy. It's just amazing and it really does last so long. Then I'm using the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara, and I'm going to be applying some Wispies uh, in the 11 from Kiss. And I'm mixing my 
prolonged wear from MAC with my L'Oreal True Match just because at this time I was kind of in between shades. Um, and I'm just mixing that on my face. It looks like I have like the chicken box. I'm going in with my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki. If you know me, you know that this is one of my holy girl products. I love this. It makes my foundation just apply so flawlessly. I always get compliments when I use my when I use this with my foundation. It's just amazing. I love it. I'm going to have everything linked down below um, so you'll be able to find everything. Then I'm going in with Pre uh, Max Prep and Prime in Light Boost to really highlight my face and really just act as a guideline for when I'm about to contour. This is really going to contrast very nicely. And I'm going in with my Beauty Blender to just blend everything out. This stuff is amazing. You want to make sure that you use a damp, otherwise it's not going to be as effective as it is. I just squeeze it under the water five or six, uh, four to five times and then just use it. It really picks up a lot of that excess product. Going in with BB Plus Illumination Cream from Gerard Cosmetics. This stuff is amazing. If you want that J-Lo glow, lit from within, all of that, I always talk about this. You want this in your life. You need it. Then I'm going in with the Banana Shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit to just really set my under eye concealer so I have no creasing going on. And then I'm using the NARS Eda brush. I love this brush. When I tell you I love it, I love it. Especially for a dramatic look. It literally chisels your cheekbones in place. It's amazing. It is on the pricey side, but definitely worth it if you're willing to splurge for it. It's amazing. And I'm just really contouring the perimeter of my face just to really complement that highlight. This is the See Me, Hear Me from their limited condition limited edition aquatic line. This is a beautiful dusty rose. It's just so pretty. Complements so many shades. It's amazing. I love it. And also has like a sheen to it. Then my favorite part, more highlight. <laughs> this is Becca in the color Opal. It's amazing. It's just so beautiful. The camera doesn't do it justice. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. I wear it day and night. Doesn't matter. I just, I wear it all the time. It's beautiful. Then to complement the look, I'm going to be doing under my eye, I'm going in with Cocoa Bear. And I'm just making sure that I am blending that all out. It's really going to just blend the colors together. So I want to go in and then I'm going to be using that color Envy from Makeup Geek and putting that on the outer corner of my eyelid. I also want to really emulate what I have on top. So and also blending here is key as well. Then I'm going to add some more of that gold to the beginning of my eyelid um, just to really give that nice roundabout look. And for the last part, lipstick. I love it. We're going to go in with Revlon Stormy Pink. This is the baby doll pink just for like a good pop of color. And then adding the Gerard Cosmetics Buttercream Lip Gloss. This stuff is amazing, highly pigmented. I have a coupon code below so you guys could try it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to be leaving all the products used down below as well as any coupon codes that I have for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and also check out my blog at lovegraceguys.com. Thank you so much for all of the support and I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.